Most people in America are familiar with, it, with when a parent passes, there are property values in a elderly person's home that are at risk to the people who come around during those final stages of life, who are both friends and family and strangers, who want to look things over, who want to pilfer things, and frankly we know that elderly care facilities are actually full of some problems with men in security as well as people who are nursing assistants who actually serve other people who slip in and out of rooms. We know that people's property values can go missing. We also know that their belongings can be taken. What we know about siblings is that they try to confiscate things before anyone else has access. When my family and my parents moved out of its long time upstanding home that they lived in for, gosh, 30 years plus, I didn't really receive much from that experience. My sisters got most of it, my brother got furnishings, and openly I got a couple wingback chairs which I no longer possess. I also gave up my baby dresser which was a hard decision to do but the Lord said no more family of origin things to taint your home. I also knew that siblings would try to steal those things from me or return them in their mind back to themselves. The furnishings that I do have I purchased with my own money. Everything I own came from my family of choice. Every item that I own from Japan was not gifted to me, I purchased it. So the retail aspects of my life are not cheap. When I lived abroad I had the right to gather things. What I'm looking for are where are my handkerchiefs, where are my furoshiki, where are my netsuke, where are the things that have value to me and are novelty trophies for a policeman's family. The liars of America confiscate goods and steal things out of jealousy, insecurity, and a need to be in charge and policing people they have no rights to be here. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth that we have to find safety away from our and America has done a failing job of how to teach people how to be on the job. A career track of a retail person is pretty much stuck, is what most people think. But we also know that when we encourage people to socialize across the borderlines of their property, in other words, the places that their companies rent, that they have to understand that they have to be careful when they do that because they are still representing, even in their free time, their company and anything they involve themselves in in immoral or illegal behavior can blow up not only on them but on their companies and I promise you companies have no problem with putting their employees in jail and have no problem with not allowing you to make bail you see they don't need the embarrassment of a badly behaving employee and they don't need you pissing on anyone including me it doesn't take much for a company's stock to tank when a retail employee doesn't think what a publicly traded company means. They think, I'm in my hourly job, I have the freedom to do what I want, I have the freedom to do as I please, I can choose my own schedule, I can get out of here early, I can put all the responsibility on somebody else, and you really can't. Your lie was thinking that you should be changing your schedule. Now if you're marvelously stocking, great. But if you're actually using that time to make relationships, to find things out, super. But at some point, you're not a super sleuth. And maybe you need someone to do that for you. But in life, there are retail employees that are so bad-willed, so ill, so insecure, and so full of hate, that they will harm anyone, even you. In America, we have the right to speak our minds. And my attitude is that I chose to build a small business so they would have the time for my family. But the minute you started to steal from me and steal from my Japanese family, you put yourself in front of God saying, I am the Lord of all things. I am the maker of heaven and earth. I am the one that will do my worst to anyone because I am me. 
and I might be on this earth for a short time, but I don't believe in heaven, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in hell, but I'm going to do my worst to every boy and every girl who monkeys me. The reality is your life is the culmination of your friendships. So at the end of your life,